What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today I am super excited because we're going to be diving into The Last of Us Part 2 official story trailer. Now this trailer is 2 minutes 19 seconds long. Perfect length for me especially with The Last of Us Part 2. I don't want too much spoiled for me. Yes I don't want too much spoiled for me and as you may know Last of Us Part 2, there are tons of spoilers out there in the interwebs. Rest assure you that this will be a spoiler-free zone. If you post anything about spoilers, you're getting banned from the channel. You're going to go bye-bye. I'm going to delete your comment, whatever the case may be. I'm never going to bring it up again. However, do note that um, I'm not going to be talking about any spoilers, about anything that I may or may not know about the game. I'm going to keep all that in the dark because, again, Twitter has been a scary place, but spoiler free because I want to go into this game, again, clear-minded, clear-headed. I played um, The Last of Us 2 recently this year, completed it. I'm working my way through, what is it, the DLC um, I actually never completed the DLC, so it's my first playthrough of the DLC. I might actually make a video of it, why not, and just um, uh, throw that up here on the channel for you guys to check out my playthrough of the DLC. But, fun no further ado, let's jump into The Last of Us, part two, official story trailer, that's what they're calling it. Now, boy oh boy, boy oh boy, I'm, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I'm I'm scared and excited at the same time because I like part of me don't even want to watch this and want to just dive into the game like completely like oblivious to what's going on. Another part of me wants to press play, baby. Let's do this. Let's see. I was about to press play inside of OBS, like if that was possible. Okay, let's go. I know you wish things were different. Yes. Woo! Damn, it oh my god, it looks so fucking good. I wish things were different. Mm-hmm. Ellie! Woo! But they ain't. Nope. Ooh, my fucking god. Please stop! Jesus Christ, they had a pin down, boy. Oh, fuck. She got fucked up. I'm leaving tomorrow. Where are you going, baby girl? To do this smart. Trespass is killed on sight. So they just get to get away with this. How'd you mm. find us? Oh, my God. You can't stop this. Uh-huh. I want what you want. Oh my god. But not at any cost. Oh, upgrading guns again, I see that. I really hope you make it. Mm. Yo, hot eyes! Yo, the expression on this game is crazy. Let's go! I have to finish it. Mm. Mm. There's a cost. Riding vehicles? Like, let's go, boy! We could have killed you. Maybe you should have. Who is he talking to, though? Yeah. <laughs> Let's fucking go. That emotion, baby. That emotion. Jesus. Woo, boy. Yo, is this blowing my mind? Maybe, yes, because obviously Last of Us was originally built for the PS3 in mind. But I played it on PS4. You know what I'm saying? Probably like 99% of the other you, um, people who played, what is it, the... This, this right here, the remastered. So, I'm, I'm in the area that this shit looks like light years ahead of what the fuck The Last of Us 1 looked. You know what I'm saying? And I don't understand how I'm still being blown away after seeing trailer after trailer after image after image of this game. 
Every time I see anything new, is is mind boggling. It just blows me away. And it may be because my attachment to the story and to the characters that when I'm I'm looking at Ellie, I feel like I'm looking at that character. I'm looking at the actress. You know what I'm saying? Like she's playing a wonderful role and stuff like that. Um, I forgot her name. I forgot her name. Granted, the whole thing is just done wonderfully. The acting, the way that it comes together inside and i'm talking a lot about the like the acting in the story part because this is a story trailer and then that's what this laces it like it gives us a lot of questions but it answers a lot of stuff and it puts us on the path it lets us know what's going to be the path that we're going to go through with ellie and joe on this game now granted we didn't see a lot of joe we heard a lot of joe we didn't see a lot of him in this trailer besides obviously this part but the majority looks like we're going to be controlling ellie you know, we see her with the bow. We see her with the... Let's fucking go. Like, we see her in action. Let's go, boy. And granted, we did get a little bit of that in part one. But this showing a ton of Ellie gameplay is getting me hype. Getting me super hype. Super hype. Sound-wise, perfect. They didn't add too much. They didn't drop a song, which I thought they were going to do. I thought it was going to be some build-up. Like, you know, something going crazy in the background. None of that. We just got some some nice, calm, relaxing stuff to go over with the the conversations that we're having in the trailer. Again, if I had to give it a grade, like how how do you take points off this? How how do you take points off a, a trailer like this? I will have to give it a five. Is right now? I wish I could play the game now. <laughs> I wish I could play the game now. I know they delayed it and had to delay it again because of the virus and shit, which is. Crazy, bizarre, but at the same time, I understand, you know, giving the team the time they need to make sure this shit is polished. Granted, on the, on top of that, make sure this shit is, like, buttery smooth day one. As they said, the, the fans, as long as we have waited for this, like, we deserve it to be good. They deserve it to be good. They deserve, you know, it to come out looking and feeling great. First playthrough and not have a days gone situation where you play it and it's like, ah. But then you play it a year later and it's fine. So you they definitely don't want to come out swinging like that. And again, this everything, everything like from the animations, from the people, like, it just is so crazy that this game not only looks this good, but seeing Ellie walk gives puts me in that mind state of like how The Last of Us Part One played and how it played like if you were really moving a human. You know what I'm saying? And just watching this trailer invokes that. G crazy. It's crazy that I'm watching a trailer and it's invoking if I was playing the game. And I I, I think that that says well to the um, the people behind who's like, you know, story beat in the trailer and, and chopping it together and making it. All kudos go to them. They, they did a wonderful job. Again, 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, however you want to score it. Let me hear from you in the comment section below. What would you give The Last of Us Part 2? story trailer in the comment section below like i said keep it spoiler free i know there's spoilers everywhere on the game let me know your excitement on the last of us part two your thoughts on the trailer and again i'm gonna be answering all comments let's chop it up in the comment section below peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next trailer reaction review which should be coming as soon as this one drops because we got a ton of shit to go over today with the Xbox Series X um shit that's going on as well as the what is it the Mortal Kombat just dropped the fucking trailer. I got to see what the fuck that is about. So more videos like always. Peace. I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms, such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever. I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment 
on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.